All right, pal, have you missed us? We are here. Well, not here, but we're at the services because Ben's having a pee in bushes. <laughs> uh, Crawley Town away today. Absolutely buzzing after the last game against uh, Grimsby. A good 3-2 win. Losing two and a half time to come back and win 3-2. Shows that the lads have got a bit of fight in them. Uh, we're only four minutes away from the ground. Going to go to Boozer before the game. Confident, aren't we? Very confident for once. Usually it's very dour, isn't it, on the way, and then we get a nice surprise sometimes. Yeah. But Stevenage has been the big turning point this season. Yeah, that, that was my last away game, so I'm absolutely buzzing to be back at the football today. And uh, still in playoffs, sixth position. These are, are these 23rd or 22nd? Uh, 22nd at the moment. Yeah, they're outside change, relegation yeah. zone, so this is a big opportunity for Bradford to come and get three points today. Statement probably as well, but just having three points if we. Yeah, definitely. What do you think of journey? Journey, it's been a, it's a, long, a long, long journey. journey. It's, we've nearly been up road six hours, so very, very nice weather, so. And it's for a good cause, because <laughs> we in April for the last few seasons, well, 2016-17. Yeah, yeah, last time. Yeah. We've had some, something to play for, whereas we do this season, it's, it's brilliant. Last year, February, we're like, well, you know, we'll just turn up and play these matches for the rest of the season but now we've actually got something to play for and we're going to do it hopefully up the fucking chickens we finally arrived the boys are here me ben and lawrence and the ground is over there can you see them little floodlights over there uh where's my fat finger there lovely fucking jubbly the weather is gorgeous here so warm but it's nice though uh, one change from last game that we played, and that is. Oh, oh God. You say 3 0. What, what's the change, Lawrence? The big change is Matt Darvish comes in for Harry Chapman, which makes sense for all of us, I think. I'm chuffed with that. Yeah. Definitely chuffed with that. Darvish was easily man of the match for me last week, so. Yeah. Even in the last half an hour. That and Gilly. It's yeah, Gilly, Gilly yeah. Ben's best player was Richie Smallwood. Yeah. Oh yeah, which is small. I see it, my dear mate. <laughs> I'm gonna drop him. I'm gonna wait for him after the game. <laughs> <laughs> I like Smallwood. I do. Not. You don't. Uh, anyway, like my score prediction Little today. <laughs> my score prediction today. I'm gonna go with a bit of confidence. I'm gonna go one nil to Bradford, and I think Andy Cook is gonna score with an assist from Richie Smallwood. Yes. Go on, score predictions. 3-0. 3 0 City Andy Cook. So, Score first. Yeah, that's his bet anyway. So for <laughs> me, <laughs> according to my football app that tells where I've been, five years ago I was at Blackpool. We lost 5 0 that day. So I'm We're not go, losing fucking I'm, 5 0 today. Go, I'm going to go 5 0 City. I'm going to go Andy Cook hat trick and Derbyshire with one and Gilly to score again. Fuck me. He's only had one pint in that <laughs> fucking pub and he that picks one. his Rocky Balboa 5 0. <laughs> well, yeah, on way to the ground now. Shall we cross over? Yeah, we shall cross over. Oh, that's local boss is having an argument with his phone. Oh, that bad. Cockney. Famous football on roundabout. The guy who hates his phone. Thank you. 
you give me the you give me the that night yeah. where obviously we've been on road because he come down the road. Yeah. And also we've been on road since about four o'clock in the morning. Oh. Finished Crawley nil. Oh bloody hell! Bradford nil, and yeah, it won't. It won't great. I suppose the result didn't go our, uh, go for us. But in terms of the match, um, I don't know. How Crawley ended up with eleven men on pitch. To be honest, uh, there's going to be a constructive criticism on both teams. I suppose in this vlog, but yeah, Crawley should have had two men sent off at least. I mean, Jamie Walker. It had his, nearly had his leg broke through one of their dangerous tackles and then Brad Halliday gets uh, fouled and then one of Crawley players boots him straight after and nearly breaks his leg so I don't know what that referee were thinking this isn't a, a, a diss on just this referee I mean all referees in this league are shit the one against Grimsby last week was shit and we won so it's not against the referees but they're just pot, piss poor in this league and yeah, I heard a lot of City fans slagging Andy Cook off. Now I'm going to address this for for, for my view. Personally, we, want, we all wanted rid of Andy Cook. No one wanted to keep Andy Cook last season uh, at the end anyway. And do you know what? Do we, do we expect him to score every week just because he scored 23 goals? He was the man of the match for me yesterday because he was the one that held the ball down, created chances. And he, he was absolutely brilliant, I thought, Andy Cook. Just because he didn't score a goal, he gets called shit in crowd and he's taking off. Yeah, he looked tired. That's because he's got a dickhead like Costello coming on and uh, Vidane and Oliver, who were both completely fucking useless... But no what gets said about them. You know what I mean? It's it's just a piss take. It, it really is. I mean, that Costello, I'd take him back to Burnley myself. I'd personally drive him there and say, off your fuck, because you're a right willy top. You know what I mean? He's absolute garbage. He don't provide nothing. Um, why, why have we brought this absolute knobhead in when we've sent Jake Young out, who's our player? I don't understand that, but... Yeah, that's the frustrating part of it, uh, not converting his chances. Scott Banks, that was the worst game I've ever seen him play in a Bradford City shirt. Begging for the ball from a goal kick. Went ball came to him, he didn't know whether to catch it, literally catch it, or kick it, or control it, or anything. And it just hit his knee, and it, it, it were open. And do you know what? He can't shoot with his right foot. And it's just piss poor. As a professional footballer, you should be able to kick a ball with both feet. But I do think Crawley will go down. K Sarah, Sarah, wherever will be, will be. You're going to Bromley. Absolute pathetic team. And I do think they'll go down. With the amount of chances they, that they had in the first half, they should have absolutely buried us. Um, but they didn't. And in the second half, we were a better team. But that's the story of our season so nil nil will probably a fair result to be fair or a draw anyway but I don't I don't know what the situation is going to be in defence because Critchlow didn't even travel with team because Matty Platt got sent off on Saturday yet again that's two sending offs this season against Mansfield and Crawley now and with it being a crucial time of the season that is a big big liability and a loss I'm afraid that's my opinion Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I mean, John texted me after the game saying, and we both said it was shit, you know, but a couple of days after reflecting on it, yeah, result was shit, but it's uh, it's what we do, innit? It's what we do, but onwards and upwards. Next one is, it, it's on Easter Monday against Sutton at home. 
we know who's going to score, Mr. Angle, who did absolute fuck all for us. But, yeah, next away game is Rochdale. Should be a banger, especially when they're on form at the moment. They beat Walsall on uh, Friday 4-2 with a goal that wasn't even a goal. But, anyhow, Crawley away. At least I'd have to fucking go there next season. Longest away game at season. We took 809 fans and uh, no no goals. It's uh, disappointing when they're third from bottom, I think. But, yeah, they're definitely going down. And us, as for us, I don't, I don't know. It's This game on Monday will be... Uh, It'll tell us whether we can do something or not because it's either if we win we'll get we've got a chance for top three, hope, and if we lose or draw for me, it's it could be out of the playoffs because uh, Salford and Mansfield breathing down as next now. It's time to uh, get some vital points, especially at home. Anyway, see the 